Inspections for private renters can be really daunting sometimes, so I'm going to show you how I tackle my house. If you're like me, your bedroom might get a little bit messy sometimes, so start by cleaning that all up. Let me go with crumbs on the floor. Cooper was eating a pack of chips in here before. If you haven't already, change your sheets this week. Okay, go grab your fave cleaner. A box full of rags, a duster and squeegee. You're going to start with dusting every single little spot of your room. And don't forget to add your furniture in. This is the perfect time. Then you're going to wipe down everything and anything. Make sure you wipe all your light switches and the skirting boards. I almost forgot the word. If you have any doors in your room, don't forget to wipe those down too. If you got ducted, you're going to have to take these out. Give them a wash. Trust me, it prevents build-up. Finish off with the vacuum. I honestly like to carpet clean, wash my screens, and do my walls right at the end of everything, like once my house is fully clean. But that was room one, day one. 13 days to ins There's a billion people on this planet that you could bother, but for some reason you chose me. I wish I could give you the attention that you ordered, but I just don't have the energy. And maybe I'm the one that's being overdramatic, but I don't think so. I do know for a fact, though, that you're a definite coward, and I think it might be time for you to go. You're a sour little boy with a fragile masculinity. You saw me as your toy, now that I'm not you abuse me You're a sour little boy, absolutely no fun You saw me as your toy, now that I'm not you throw a tantrum
It's time for a prank. Kayless? Yeah. Can you come here, please? Yo, I'm gonna prank Anthony, so I need you to hold this. Okay. At least so I could take the step right away. Alright. Just gonna take the step right away. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Bro, yo, Eddie, come back! Yo, help! I just wanted you to watch me dissolve I cleaned my vans and I posted this video and you guys went insane. Hundreds of people asked me to clean white vans and checkered vans. So I'm giving the people what they want. So let's get into it. So we are going to just take soapy water and scrub our shoes until our arms fall off. I like to use this toothbrush for the details and the bigger brush to get the job done faster. Once you've removed most of the dirt from scrubbing, you are going to wipe off the excess soap with a rag. And then I put the rag into the shoe so it could dry and it wouldn't change the shape. Basically, I I just go to the next shoe and do it all over again then you got to drop your phone into the soap can't forget about that part so i wanted to show you guys me cleaning my checkered vans especially because these are five years old i've had them since my freshman year of high school it's really beat up and that's kind of why this video took so long so sorry guys if i left you waiting but yeah i just cleaned the checkered vans just like the white ones the thing i did want to show you is i had this scuff that wouldn't come out and so i took an eraser and erased it and it came right out but yeah like and follow for part two it'll be up super soon so the guys came in this morning and said WTF. The parking lot was covered in paintballs and they couldn't play basketball. So I grabbed the hose and went to work. Not bad.
So I'm going through all of my clothes, you know, purging, and I thought I'd show you guys. Here's a variety of what I wear. I have sweaters and more sweaters and jeans, and also I have real fur because I hate animals, so I'd rather just wear them than, you know, feed them and take care of them. Just kidding, I love her. Fit Check Spring Cleaning Edition. I can dress this up or down. I was wondering where this went. You never know when you'll need one of these. I love them all. Maybe I'll hold on to these for one more year. My mom was mad her calendar had a pig for April and it's Ramadan. She ripped the April art out and kept the March one. I moved next weekend. I haven't cleaned out my closet at all. So I've decided that I have to film it just to hold myself accountable because otherwise it's not going to get done. As you can see, I've been putting this off for way too long. I'm going to start with bathing suits just because it was the easiest bin to grab. This is my designated family vacation bikini, so I have to keep this one. This was a matching set, and then the bottoms got bleached in a pool. So I'm thinking, no. I got this one for spring break my junior year of college, and like I feel like it's not in anymore, but it's comfy and I like it, so we're gonna keep it. Not only does this one make me look like I'm wearing a diaper, but I also lost the string that connects the back, so hard mess. Keeping this one, for obvious reasons. This top doesn't fit the way that it should, and these bottoms are way too thin. No and no. And this one just looks like the lesbian flag. So, for personal reasons, I will be keeping it. Yeah, bitch, I barely get out. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Stuff in Bob's Car. I got frisbees so I can throw them. Uh, I got two ripsticks because anyone who has one's a chump. Uh, I got a skateboard. I like doing primo flips on it. I can also hit a fat ollie on top of that. I have a summer sled. I made a video on this one time of me going down a grass hill. Um, I got some roller blades, but I've made videos on that before. So check out my sticks instead. I, they're really cool sticks. I can like juggle them and balance them and whatnot. They're pretty fun. They're called devil sticks. Uh, I have so many boxes of inner tubes. I have tons of inner tubes for just tubing around like eight at least. I got free skates, which is pretty like a a rip stick uh, without the middle part. Uh, I got a pogo stick, which is not made for my weight at all. Uh, a scooter that I also just use as a pogo stick. A uh, flat tire on my unicycle. A uh, CPR baby, which my father-in-law thought was hilarious that I had that. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff in my car. This video is pretty much just an excuse to clean my car. Little old Zaggles, chilling in the sun. He's just enjoying life and he's gonna eat some. There you go. Eat up, little man. Eat up, little man. Started school cleaning and we came across I this job. Mommy, I got what's the Can you still make that face? Can you still make that face? Jason, do this. <laughs> You're just such a sweet boy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I bought this stuff because we have a little bit of mold in our bathroom. And it literally ate the mold away. I didn't have to brush it or use anything. So I was like, hey, our outside door has this weird stuff on it. I don't, I've never seen anything like that. And I was like, I wonder if this will work on the door. Tried it. Let it sit for like five minutes. Look at that. Brand new white door. So I'm going to spray it all over it. And I'm going to set up a time lapse for you guys because I love time lapse. So let's do it.
just going to rinse it off, but didn't scrub, just sprayed, and the door looks brand new. Amazing. Go buy that stuff. Spring cleaning with Bab. Step one, rotate your mattress. Spring and fall, two-person job. Step two, vacuum your mattress to get rid of dust, dirt, and dust mites. Step three, spray your mattress generously with our non-toxic solution. Let's make the non-toxic mattress spray super easy. Using a quarter cup of witch hazel, quarter cup of water, 16 drops of each of our essential oils, which is eucalyptus, peppermint, and lavender. You can cut this recipe in half, but our spray bottle is actually a half a cup. This acts as an antiseptic. It deters the bed bugs and it smells delicious. Just make sure the mattress is dry before you remake your bed. Also great for all your pillows, whether you're washing them or not. Bed is off the list. I just wanted you to watch me just all slowly in a pool full of your love. I don't even know how the chemistry. I stopped associating being at home with like being bummy. I got rid of my old tattered clothes. Yes, that is a great tip. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw away all our clothes because we can't feel bummy if we don't have bummy clothes. Is this a manic episode? I don't know, but let's just throw away all our clothes. So this is my closet. I wear nothing in here. And this is my outfit. I like nothing about it. I feel like one day I'm gonna be outside and Stacey and Kling gonna be behind me, like. I think it's really important to have clothes that reflect the person that you want to be. And I won't be this person no more. So I'm going to be donating these clothes to the local thrift store and filling my closet with bad bitch attire. Okay, so don't look at the top. Put my winter clothes in the back and now I got all this space to put new spring clothes. But yeah, I'm trying to update my life and my wardrobe. So like if you want to see me buy new hangers, update my closet. Follow me. Fo follow me. Like this video, send it to your friends and stuff. Oh boy, you looking like you like what you see. Won't you come over and check up on it? I'ma let you work up on it. Ladies, let them check up on it. Watch it while he check up on it. Flip it, pop it, twerk it, stop it, check on me tonight. Oh boy, you looking like you like what you see. see. Come over and check up, check up. I'ma let you work up, work up. Ladies, let them check up on it. Watch it while he check up on it. Flip it, flip it, pop it, stop it, check on me tonight. Oh boy, you looking like you like. Stop, this doesn't make sense. Hold up. Wait, who are you? I am you. I am me. No, sir, you are you. Wait, I don't know. Two is two. Got two bus downs down this. I graduated college two and a half years ago, and the most important thing that I've learned is that the society that we live in does not value hard work nearly as much as it values delusional confidence. If you're confident enough, you can do whatever you want. If you have $50 and an internet connection, you can create business cards for whatever profession that you want to be in. I've been the CEO of Google for about two weeks now, and I leave my business cards everywhere. Hotels, bars, restaurants, Office Depot, I don't care. I get calls from people and they say, hey, you can't do this. This is fraud. It's illegal. And I say, well, take it up with the complaints department. Their number is on the card. And when they call the complaints department number, it redirects to the worst reviewed Applebee's in my tri-state area. Can you imagine being angry at a 25 year old who's pretending to be the CEO of a major tech company? And when you call the complaints department number, somebody answers and they say, hi, welcome to Applebee's. This is Stacy. Can I please put you on hold? It infuriates them. And all the stars you never thought was in the spotlights. All the stars we see you from the night sky will never be.
this one's for you. You all know the beautifully organized pantries and closets and how expensive those baskets and bins are. Well, I've got good news. The Home Edit just launched an exclusive line at Walmart and it's 10 out of 10. These are by far the most affordable bins and come in these amazing pre-curated sets, AKA they put together the pieces that make the most sense all for under 25 bucks. Look at these before and afters because these bins really make me feel like I've got my life together. How to wash a giant carpet. Watch till the end to see the real color of this carpet. Modern pimp. Why? Baby, they call me La Quifa for the postmodern pimp. Why? La Quifa. What? La Quifa. What? What? La Quifa. What? La Quifa. What? What? Now, I've not done this since moving in, so yeah, it is pretty bad. So, I've got a dish, a bucket, and my favourite Spanish cleaner. Now, I'm just diluting that with some water. Then using a jug to scoop it up and then pouring down the water in between the radiator, using the dish to catch all that gunk. Now I know you can actually take the top bit off, but for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out, so I'm doing it this way. Then I'm just using some diluted Sephora for the front of the radiator, wiping it down with a microfiber cloth. Now I know there is lots of ways to clean your radiators, but I prefer this one because it just makes your room smell amazing. Check out this before and after. Mix equal parts baking soda and hydrogen peroxide into a paste, Apply to grout and scrub with a soft bristle brush. Wipe with a damp towel and you'll be amazed. 